Today I'll be doing a review of the Mavic uh, handmade wheel made in France by, of course, the company pronounced Mavic. Um, and this is the Comet disc wheel. And this here is um, the Zip Super 900 um, <clears throat> 2017 edition. I brought this last year. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about these two. Um, I have never seen a review doing a comparison on YouTube. Um, I have ridden this one. I haven't got a chance to ride this one yet. Um, I like this one. This one's really, really nice. Very arrow, very fast, um, very durable. But I honestly feel that it's overpriced. Um, not to take anything away from the Mavic, um, because this wheel and this wheel, they're almost about the same price. Um, this one has a aluminum braking surface. Um, this one has full carbon. Um, so of course this one will wear down a whole lot faster. Uh, this one won't wear down at all um, because it has an aluminum um, insert, which you can certainly see from inside of here. Um, this one also is a tubular wheel. Um, so this one, the tires have to be glued on. Um, I haven't just removed my tires from off of here. I didn't get a chance to ride them. Didn't like the way it was sitting, so I'm gonna re-glue them. Um, this side of the wheel for the Mavic is considered lenticular. Um, that's the shape of the lens. Uh, and this side is, of course, pan flat because this is where your gearing goes. Um, I do like the lenticular shape a whole lot better um, than this one here, which of course is pan flat on both sides. Uh, both of these are 11 speed. Um, very fast wheels, of course, 11 speed. Uh, very fast, very, very fast wheel. Uh, I can't take anything away from the zip wheel. Um, one thing I don't like about it is the carbon fiber that they use in this wheel. It's not much. Look at that. Look how thin that is. It could get a hole very, very easily just by a little knock or a little bump. Um, and this has a full uh, foam core. Now, as far as the Mavic School, this wheel here, um, you see how thick the honeycomb carbon fiber is. Let me back up there. So you see how thick that is. So this can take a whole lot more um, knocking around, beating up, you know, in and out of team trucks or in and out of your car or, you know, however you travel with your bike. Um, so that's one thing I do love. This one has way more carbon fiber. I mean, this thing is like bulletproof. It, I'm pulling on it extremely hard and it's not even budging. Um, this wheel, I do have a speed sensor on it already. So I already went ahead and put that on there. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick review of the differences. Um, of course, same size screw, 11 speed. I have a 6800 cassette on there, um, and I had a Shimano E-Tap uh, hub on this one. I think it was an E-Tap. Yeah, that was my gearing setup, but I think I'm gonna go back to regular gears. Um, I don't like the whole automatic thing. You gotta remember to charge them, and if they die while you're out, uh, that kind of sucks. So this has just been my comparison of these two uh, phenomenal wheels. Um, I love both of them. I can't take anything away from either one of them. Um, it's just, I feel the Mavic is built better and it's a better value wheel and it will last longer. This, I'm not saying this is not a good wheel. This is like ridiculously good, but the value for what you're getting, dollar for dollar, Ceramic hubs that are aftermarket, not from ceramic speed. Um, I can buy those and put them in here. These have steel bearings, these have ceramic. Um, the aluminum uh, skewer that comes with this, titanium I mean, and I could buy one and put one in here. Um, I don't know, just I feel like the zip, 
wheel. I mean, both of these wheels are, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, three grand a wheel. Um, but I don't know. I think the zip is just, it's not worth it. Especially if your braking surface, once it starts to go down, you know, what do you do then? You know, it's not like you could rebuild your braking surface. Now on the Mavic, uh, your braking surface is aluminum, not going anywhere. And it has this uh, coating, I forgot how to pronounce it, but it has this phenomenal coating on it. Um, and it's very durable, so I don't know, it's just my comparison between these two wheels. Um, I'll let you know an update once I get the Mavic put back on my bike. Uh, the zip is phenomenal. Wonderful wheel, but highly, highly overpriced for what you're getting. And that's just my personal opinion, and thanks for watching.